Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Twin Plumbers Rat Rumble Extravaganza. And boy, do we have a showdown for you today. In the red corner, we have our furry four-legged foes. They're small, they're sneaky, they're the rascal rodents that have been running rampant in Miss Jan's house for years. Today, that all changes. With a swagger in their step and rat trap in hand, our plumbers are here to flush out the trouble. And what's this? It's Mr. Whiskers, the cat, lounging around, unbothered and unfazed. Look like he's taken a person personal day, leaving the rat wrangling to the professionals. Just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, we've got babies. Baby rats, that is. It's a full house, ladies and gentlemen, and the twin home experts are here to deal the final end. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I could smell the, oh, yeah. the rat urine. I don't know where they got in, but they're like nesting or trying to. This is needlework. There's no food in here. So, but they're tearing it up in order to build a nest, I guess. Oh yeah. In here, I had a high to bed sofa. They totally chewed it up. So where would you say the most active the spots? Oh, it's the kitchen. <laughs> I'll show you. When was the last time you saw the activity? A couple days ago. In the kitchen? Yeah, so twice, two days ago, I saw one go from that cabinet run right down there and it ran over this way. Sometimes they go under there. Yep. Sometimes they go behind the refrigerator. Have you caught any? Oh yeah, but okay. not a lot. Real active up there, but not yeah. at all in this one. Okay. These shelves were just cleaned like a week ago, so any droppings that are in there are new. Yeah, they, yeah, you can see a lot of, a lot of activity in the food here. I saw one the other day and it ran from under that ladder, it went that way, and across that way. But I mean, they're actually letting you see them, so. Yeah, they're getting comfortable. Very. It's like they live here and I don't. <laughs> a lot of you say, get a cat, get a cat. I've witnessed hundreds of homes where homeowners go out and get a cat thinking it's gonna solve their rat infestation. It doesn't work, it's not sustainable. Maybe outside, but again, they're gonna get lazy. They're not going after a very active, healthy rat. They'll go after more of a hurt prey, but most of the time, cats are not sustainable to solve your rat infestation. I smell it. God, I don't know if I smell a, a hint here. So the other pest control companies, screwed it here. This is above the kitchen area. This is sealed up. This is above that pantry closet. Nope. Oh, look at that, you guys. Look at the kitchen. Right above the kitchen, smoke is just burrowing out of the side of the stucco here, this vent here. Well, that's not normal, is it? This is a perfect example why you need the twin traps. And I'm not just saying it, guys. If you're hiring a pest control company and they're just placing a bunch of rat traps up in your attic, look at these rat traps right here, you guys. You'll agree. This is proof right here. We've got one, two, three rat traps all deployed, flipped over, and no catches. We come over here, another rat trap flipped over, no rat. Another rat trap flipped over, no rat. Another rat trap flipped over, no rat. No catch, no catch. Look at this one here. Another one, no catch. Right over here behind me. Another one, no catch. This is just sad. Oh, look, oh, look at that. That's a first. Uh, they usually don't come up inch and a half pipes, but we'll have to see what size pipe that is down there because usually they don't come up inch and a half pipes. This will be interesting to see what we find here. Yeah, look at this. Another rat trap flipped over. Oh, they caught a cable, that's good. Look at another one, you guys. And another one. So the main entry point that we found 
which makes sense why they're getting in the kitchen is right up here there is a broken sewer pipe oh, so you know what that might be the old exhaust because there was a washer and dryer here well that's good to know oh it was see there was right here was the washer and dryer and then there was a laundry sink right here so what we'll do is we'll build a critical barrier around here so we can vacuum we're not going to get dust all over your home and then be able to do all the exclusion work then we set up cameras throughout the home with our rat traps because you have so many rat traps up in the attic in the basement they're all flipped over there's they get away, they get away. They get, yeah. with our rat traps you won't have that issue a few moments later okay so we got the ceiling opened up and you can see the disconnection there well we can fix that we can turn these victor rat traps into amazing rat traps with the twin traps look at the <laughs> look at the rats chewing on this one you guys they just chewed right there without even activating this trap jan was letting me know that the three pest control company that she had out none of them crawled the attic none of them crawled the crawl space if you're gonna hire a pest control company and they're not willing to suit up and crawl and inspect do not hire them if they're wanting to just come out and set traps and then you know assume there's a couple holes on the outside and seal up do not hire them you have got to get into all of those tight areas there and again if your rat infestation is not stopped with 15 days or less now keep in mind if there is a homeowner that's got a lot of dog food and pet food and they're pulling all that pet food into walls and ceilings that's going to be a much longer task to get rid of those rats but if there's no pets typically you can stop a rat infestation in a home 15 days or less so be mindful of that okay i'll remember that let's sanitize this area but leave the corner rodent droppings in the corner just leave those alone i want okay. them to feel comfortable and that's where we're going to place our traps gotcha. so it looks like thompson he crawled all the way back there and he found a burrow all right i gotta crawl back there and see what's going on there's a hole in here yeah. can we cut this out and put a brand new piece of duck for her yeah okay where's that burrow right there against the wall oh right here Nice find, man. Nice find. Okay, looks like there's a rat in the kitchen. I'm out of here. He was up here. He was getting. He was getting out of here. He's gone. Oh yeah, he's gone. Damn it. Watch your profanity. So evidently these doors were closed and they saw the rat's head poke out of this area right here. I guarantee you he ran up in this attic area here, which is good. Because now we're gonna seal isolate this attic so we can't come back down anymore. And we have a trap set up on the other side. So we're gonna be removing all of those traps that those other pest control companies set and put our twin trap in there. Did we remove all the rat traps? Bro? Yes, we did. Okay, let me have them. Oh, how many were there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dewey, my professional opinion, not doing it right. No, I used to do the same thing, you guys. I mean, that's, this is all we had back in the day. Completely activated. The bait is secure. Rat traps aren't gonna flip over. The last job that we were at, there was a rat that got caught on the regular trap and just dug a hole with his legs and then actually buried himself and the rat trap so you couldn't even see it. And the homeowner ended up complaining about a severe odor. See with ours, you set these down anywhere and you're gonna see it. That's why we went with the gold or yellow hoodie. And if you catch a rat, easy to remove and dispose. But our catching rate, you guys, have, has gone up 45% with these type of traps. Again, we're luring the rat right into the kill zone. Okay, so we're gonna set this one in that drawer. This is all baited up with that cat food. Got our little hoodie in there. So let's go set this up in that drawer. Yeah, let's see. So there's a hole. 
right there. So they're coming from the crawl space. They're getting up in here. Okay, so it looks like we've got the plumbing all taken care of. That's all connected now. All right, we've got a camera right there. That's nice and stabilized right there. See how much cleaner this basement is. I'm gonna move this trap along the structure of this air conditioning. I think I have a better chance, so it'll be like this here. Okay, so we've got this pantry now isolated. Got the ceiling sealed up with the camera and the trap. It's all about trapping right now. Let's see how effective we're gonna be. A few moments later. Yeah, it looks like they chewed. Maybe we should have left all this food oh, outside. And, and the guy's like, oh, we'll just put it up back in here. Tons of rat poop. Mm -hmm. Is there any holes up there? Nope, not that I see. All right, so we went ahead and created a glue board barrier. So I like for them to try to chew through this. Day two. Let's go check out Dave's glue boards. And I know we got a rat up in the attic. So let's go check it out, see if those glue boards worked. Yeah, this is why we don't use these right here. See how they flip over. Dave put some glue boards over here by the dishwasher. If you see a lot of our videos, we don't use glue boards, but in this type of situation, in this application, it was absolutely perfect. All right, so now we're gonna open up the attic access and see what we've got in there. Oh yeah. That's the great thing about the bait tugger. You see that? When it gets their head, you guys, it's an instant kill. A lot of times the larger rats, the kill bar will hit the body and you could see that they muscle their, and they squeeze their way out between the kill bar and the rat trap, so. That's what we love about the bait tugger is it pushes it out, allowing the kill bar to hit their head much quicker. Good job, David. Great, great job, buddy. Good catch. I'm so we're so making glad. more progress than the other company. Three companies in a, in a year. Wow. I was like, I don't even want to live here anymore. Day three. Wow, guys, there has been so much activity inside this kitchen. Check out all the monitoring cameras that they picked up, all these little babies. What was really interesting is that when we set the rat traps up, these little babies were just climbing up all over, not triggering any of the rat traps. So in fact, there was one where I got them on the legs. So what I did is I hooked up our rat vac. As soon as I baited the rat vac, they started to come out. And it was amazing with the cat food, you guys, because the cat food just drew them out. And they were walking around right in front of me and went right into the back. So let's see how many we got here. So we got uh, one, two, three, four. That means that there's a rat's nest underneath that kitchen. So we're gonna have to really create a tight border so that it doesn't run off to the other parts of the house. So it's gonna be interesting, stay tuned. So we've got this protected here. This island here also has underneath the toe kick when I was here the other day when I caught those baby rats, they were going up underneath this island. So what I went ahead and did is blocked any access under there as well. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. That's where he's coming and going. Yeah, you can see all the nesting material underneath there, check it out. All right, so what I've decided to do is block that opening there, connect the rat back, and then we're gonna open up the dishwasher area and try to run them out and flush them out into the rat back. Let's see if my idea works. So we got a lot of work done today. We've opened up the kitchen area. We sanitized, got all the nesting materials out of there. 
hoping to get that rat, hoping to flush him out of that underneath the cabinets, but we're just gonna have to sit and monitor. But there's one left. I also set a rat trap up into the office because she says she thought she heard something there. So uh, a few more rats here, we got this job. A few more. Day four. All right, guys, we're back. It's day four here. We've got one juvenile rat that is roaming this kitchen very afraid of the rat vac as well as the twin trap. So we've got an idea today to flush him out. We're gonna use the twin puck. Let me show you. All right guys, this is called the twin cleanse. It's an odor removal product. This is good for about 500 square feet. I wish I had one more, but we actually used another one on a mold job yesterday. So I'm hoping this will be strong enough to flush out this rat without ripping it all up. There's possibly some food source that's behind there that is prolonging the life of, uh, of this rat. So what we're gonna do is we added our bubbler. We're gonna drop the twin cleanse inside there and let it off gas. And then we're gonna utilize the monitoring cameras to see if we're going to flush him out or not. Once I drop the puck in, I've gotta be out and I'm gonna monitor over the next couple of hours and let's see if this works. The good thing about this, if it doesn't work as far as flushing the rat out, it's really going to rejuvenate the air quality here from all of the rat urine and the droppings because there's a slight, slight uh, stench in here. So that's also gonna help with the indoor air quality of this kitchen. So we're hopefully gonna accomplish two things, if not one for sure. We don't typically use glue boards, but I'm going to go ahead and put glue boards as well. So that way, if they do run out um, during the twin cleanse flush out, uh, they will run right into the sticky pads, okay? Here we go. Later. All right, guys, it's been about 48 hours. Let's go inside the kitchen. Let's check the odor as well as I think we got something. Some activity there. Look at that. This is why we don't use glue boards because a lot of times they escape. But look at, look at what we've got here. Big one. Still alive, as you can see, flushed right into the sticky. Again, we don't like using glue boards, but in this case, I think he was completely trap shy. And again, food source can be behind this lazy Susan, which we don't have access to. You can see in this episode how important it is to do a variety of baiting and trapping. Um, you know, one trap is not going to solve an issue. That's why we like using a variety, different tactics, skill sets, um, all of that really will determine exactly what you need to do to control rats in your kitchen. So this has definitely been a, an amazing learning experience and uh, exciting episode from rat vac to the, to the traps, to the glue boards, to the Puro cleanse. This deserves the rat dance.